The forum is an opportunity for stakeholders to make their input on the amendment bill so as to find lasting solutions to the problems of land grabbing, kidnapping, cultism, indecent dressing, and other related offenses in Ogun State. The Speaker of the House, Olakunle Oluomo, notes that the amendment will benefit every stakeholder in the state and also stipulate penalty for the offenders. Let me assure you that the bill will be given as a related passage in order to ensure safety of lives and properties of our people in the state. It is therefore important to reaffirm the commitment of the State House of Assembly to annex the germane input into the bill for the further legislative procedure. Stakeholders in their contributions examined the 57 amendments clause by clause and suggested stiffer penalties for offenders, establishment of security tax force as well as special tribunal for quick adjudication on matters of kidnapping, land grabbing and other related offenses as contained in the proposed law. Punishment given to land grabbers is not enough. I think they are supposed to be uh, maybe a special tribunal try them. Uh, the aspect of the joint tax force, we will like these amendments to take care to tidy that aspect. Stay for a special tribunal to try this. If there is, it will be speedy, it will be okay. And Once we have a good land registration uh, information in the state, some of these problems will be put to, to rest. Chairman House Committee on Lands and Housing, Honorable Damilola Shunaye, and the state's legal advisor, James Maffey, speak on the essence of the amendments. We receive petitions on land grabbing, forcible entry, kidnapping and cultism on daily basis and even press release on the weekly basis in the Ogun State House of Assembly. We're going to try to move the base of the executory power from where it exists now to where it will be more implementable. The bill is expected to pass through the third reading before passage in Abelkuta, Yemitalimo, NT News. Akweroyi.